I don't know how to do this anymore. Send help. Hey y'all, what's up? What's poppin'? Who's show daddy? My name is Taylor and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, don't forget to hit that big red subscribe button before you leave because I am coming to you live from my new microphone and that means that I'm slowly moving up in the world and I deserve it. So for today's video, as you can see, I have on this busted, dusted, crusted, and really messed up shirt. So that can only mean one thing. It is time to tackle this root rot. So if that's something that tickles your interest bone, then grab you a drink, grab you a snack, honey, grab you a shot if you need it. I don't care. I don't judge. Put them youngins in the bed, honey, and let's get started. I just talked for five minutes and didn't have my microphone on. This is going to be crazy. Now my cat wants to meow. Excuse me one moment. Let's go ahead and address the elephant in the room. I am fully aware, I acknowledge, and I am totally sorry that I have not posted a video in over a month. We're at two months at this point, but you know who's counting? I'm not going to sit here and complain to you for the next 20 minutes about how my life has just gone to shit because I feel like all of our lives are pretty shitty for the past year. So just know I'm here. I'm never going anywhere. Don't you ever worry your little sweet face about that one. Tay Tay is here to stay, okay? When I went to Sally's to get my regular bleach that I normally use, I saw this sitting on the shelf like right above it. And I've seen AKA Aislinn try out so many different bleach kits. So today we are going to pretend to be the great and amazing aka Aislinn and we're gonna test out this bleach kit okay and pray that my hair does not fall out it looks like it actually comes with everything that you would need which is awesome I have no idea what this little thing is maybe it's for like these baby hairs maybe that's exactly what it's for and I won't have a problem anymore. maybe it's for highlights bitch I don't fucking know it comes with a brush I guess this is a little scrapey thing or to mix it. We have a cap. I'm not going to be using it, but it does come with it in case I guess you want to do highlights. I just dropped it. We have gloves. Thank you, good God, because I don't have any. So thank God. We have 40 volume developer. That's really high, but at least they tell you. We have our instructions, the bleach, and they say that there's a breakaway bowl in here. And I'm assuming that it's this little... Yeah. Now see, this is just supposed to break away, but it's not breaking away. I'm about to break it and I just hit myself in the face. I finally got it. Okay, cool. So this kit literally gives you everything that you could possibly need. And it was like 10 bucks. I'm pretty sure. I'll look it up to double check and I'll put the price right here. But I'm pretty sure this thing was like 10 bucks and it came with literally everything. First impressions... I'm really impressed. Pretty sure this is going to be self-explanatory like all bleach, but if you haven't bleached your hair before, please read the directions. Read these directions and read these directions, okay? I'm just going to mix the powder bleach with the developer. I'm going to put some conditioner in there too just to kind of calm it down because I don't want my hair to fall out. I'll meet you back here in a minute with our mixture. Eventually. I have my mixture nice and mixied. I did end up putting about 10 to to 15 pumps of conditioner in here just to try to tone down that 40 volume. I just use this cheap dollar store conditioner that I get at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. Works perfectly fine. Don't use your good shampoo and conditioner, okay? That's some expensive shit. Damn, skip it. Now that I have my gloves on, let's go ahead and jump right into this bad boy because I'm ready to get this done and over with. I just have a feeling this is not gonna end well. This brush sucks. Too damn bad! I took my car to Pet Boys the other day because with my stimulus, I mean, people are probably gonna scream at me and I don't really care, but I used my entire stimulus to like do stuff on my car, like get the oil changed, get the brakes done. I got four brand new tires finally because I've been wanting to do that for a really long time and just never had the extra money to do it, so I did it. I got my car aligned because I live in South Carolina and potholes are literally death holes. If you fall in a pothole, you're gonna be missing, but that's besides the point. I know I don't know jack squiddly squat about cars, but I do know that you're not supposed to change my tires, put my car off the lift, put somebody else's car up there, and then five hours after I bring you my car, you decide to tell me that 
like the great YouTuber that I am, I never even finished the story. So let me just finish it for you right now. I took my car up to Pet Boys at 8 o'clock in the morning. They called me at 3 o'clock to tell me that they had just changed my tires and aligned my car and to let me know that one of my tires was the wrong size even though they were the ones who changed my tire the last time. So then that already pissed me off. I didn't hear anything from them until I decided to walk my ass up to Pet Boys at 5. They close at 7, mind you, which isn't really a long way. It's only like a quarter of a mile up the road, but still to find out my car wasn't even on the lift. They had taken it off and I didn't walk out of there until 6.45. So basically my car was there for 10-ish hours. They put my car on the lift, did the tires, aligned it, took it off the lift, parked it, waited about six hours, realized that I was up there. They were knee deep in Shit's Creek, decided to put my car back up there with an hour until they closed and do my brakes and not align it again. So I don't know if my car even really got aligned. I don't know if I wasted a thousand dollars. I don't know. It doesn't make sense to me either. So you help me make it make sense. Okay. This is going on really nice. Like I'll go ahead and say that. And the fact that I have my mirror sitting here this time and I'm using it the way that I'm supposed to be using it, it's probably helping a lot. I'm trying to lather it, but not go over the same spot 15 times because we all know that's what I do. And I'm trying really hard not to overlap because I have enough bands in my hair and I don't need anymore. We're just winging it. Oh, let me tell you really fast. This is not an excuse and it's not good enough um, reason, but I did actually have a video recorded and my dumb was out of the frame the entire time. I rhinestone my lips. I think I'm still gonna do, I, like I'm gonna redo it, but I'm gonna do it different. Like when I started to edit the video, I got so pissed off, there was no saving it. To that, why I was saying that is because I recently started doing bling cups. Like I don't know the correct term to call them, so that's just what I call them is bling cup. I'm gonna put some pictures right here while I'm doing this. And that has where all of my time has been going. I love doing it, but it's so time consuming. Consuming. All right, we have one section done. That was pretty easy, it went on really nice. I don't know if y'all have ever lived in a place where it literally just mentally and just emotionally drains you, but that is this apartment for me. I hate it. I will find any excuse to not have to sit in this apartment all day. Like we still don't sleep in our bedroom. We have the mattress out on living room floor still. So like we don't even sleep in our room. That's so annoying. I hate living here. It's just been a lot. Have I gone mad? I really do think I'm getting better at this whole bleaching and sectioning thing. I can't believe how fast I am just going through this right now. Like, there's gonna be something wrong. <laughs> you know one thing that I am ready to be over with though? Politics. I ain't never in my 25 and three quarters years of life heard about politics so much than I have this past year. And I don't know, maybe it's just something that happens when you get older, that's all you hear about is politics. But God almighty Jesus, I am so tired and hearing about politics. I'm sorry if that pisses you off. I'm sorry if that makes me a terrible American. I don't care. All them old men care about is how much money they about to have at their, in their pocket at the end of the day. So y'all can miss me with the drama. You can miss me with the freaking hashtags. You can miss me with the memes. I don't care, okay? Actually, the memes are kind of funny, so you can keep sending me those, but I don't care about anything else. Thank you and have a blessed day. Yes, queen. Now my ear's itching. What is that supposed to mean? Uh, I'm struggling right now, y'all. <laughs> really struggling. I can see the blonde. I can see the blonde. No ma'am. Make sure you get them baby hairs. Don't forget about the baby hairs. We getting some overlapping, so hopefully my hair just doesn't fall out. That's all I can say. 12 seconds later. All right, I think I'm going to check it really fast and see. Okay, I already see some spots I'm gonna have to do. Since I have so much bleach left, I'm probably going to do the bleach bath thing five minutes before, just so I can try to get as much of this red out as possible. Oh, I didn't use my little spiral thingy to see if that's what these were for, cause this brush does it good enough. Okay, I just checked everything and everything looks pretty good. I'm going to let this sit for probably about 30 minutes or so, um, just until this side is process to my liking and I will rinse it out and come back to show you how it looks and to give you my final opinion on the radical bleach kit from beyond the zone so I'll see you in a minute <laughs> Ok 
Okay, now I have my microphone on. I also decided to brush my hair while I was waiting like a dummy, and now it looks bouffant. So as much as my hair is damaged and fried, please know that this is why people with wavy slash curly hair don't brush their hair dry. Just a little fall on one for you on this beautiful what is today? Monday afternoon. The bleach did really well, obviously. Um, I missed spots because I'm dumb. Uh, the red did come out pretty well. I ended up going and putting some bleach on the red when I had about five minutes to go, so that's why all of this is extremely dry. The bleach did what it was supposed to. Um, I like the fact that it literally came with everything that you would possibly need. All you have to do is buy that kit, literally. You don't have to buy anything else. Unlike a lot of brands, it actually tells you what volume that you're getting, so you can dilute it if you need to, which is what I did. My hair is still on my head. That's a plus. Uh. That is all that I have for today's video. I'm done rambling i'm done talking i hope y'all enjoyed it i hope you liked watching me do whatever this is i don't know anymore i'm sorry if you want to see me get my life hair and everything under control go ahead and hit that subscribe button as always remember that life is a grand adventure you just got to go out there and live it i love each and every single one of you and i will see you in the next one what that's not what i say <laughs> My hair looks like one of those firecracker popsicles. So we need to speed it up. Mar um, Zena, whatever your name is, go on get. I don't even have my microphone on, so. I'm about to go insane. I need to finish this video because I'm going nuts at this point. If I saw myself on the side of the street, I would be like, That hussy is stuck in 1965, and for some reason, she thinks she knows how to do her hair. I am who I am, and I look the way I look. And if you can't take me at my worst banding, baby, you don't deserve me at the end of the rainbow.